Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new and good morning. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat throughout a day. So a typical day in the life and um, it's a busy day and I wanted to show you guys just foods that I quickly whip up and that I reach for during the day and you know, specific choices that I make. So I try and avoid eating sugar or eating out and making poor food choices. So just having a planning mindset. So first of all, what I start with in the morning is always lemon water. So this is just a half a lemon squeezed with just some uh, warm water. And I will whip this up and you know sip this while I make my smoothies. So I love to make smoothies and my breakfasts always change. Um, you know, some days I'll have smoothies, some days I'll have like a boiled egg and avocado, and it just really depends on what my body is craving. So today I just crave like a really, I wanted like something fruity, like a really nice uh, light, but like also nourishing smoothie. So what I'm gonna start out with, so this is my favorite raspberry lemon smoothie, and I'm just gonna teach you guys um, how to make a smoothie, really. So you always need a good base. So of course that would be your liquid. So whether it be like water, coconut milk, uh, today I'm using organic kefir. I love kefir because it's fermented like yogurt, but it's fermented longer, so it's a bit more liquidy. It's like a thick, like a, a thick milk, but like a watery yogurt in a way. So I'm just gonna add about, I would say like one cup. So usually I add like one cup for the base, um, whether it be like kefir, whether it be uh, coconut. I use, I use a lot of coconut milk. I don't really use almond milk. I find that a lot of almond milks today just have a lot of like added chemical ingredients that I don't want. And for me some days, I mean, it's easy to make your own almond milk and I actually have a video on how to make your own, but you know, on those days you just need like a quick smoothie, you're like running out the door going to work, which is like today, you need something fast. So after I do a milk, I will add either like ice or just a frozen fruit or even like a frozen vegetable. So today I'm adding frozen organic raspberries. So I'm gonna add about like one cup. And honestly guys, I don't really measure. I just kind of eyeball it and see like, you know, like that should be about one cup there. Um, so, and because these are frozen, they will just give that smoothie a nice like thick consistency and it won't be warm because something's worse than having like a warm smoothie. Like it's just disgusting. So no one likes a warm smoothie. Okay, so after that, I will add a sweetener. So usually if I'm adding like a banana to the smoothie, let's say like a lot of days I had like a banana and like tahini, I don't need a sweetener because bananas are like really sweet tropical fruits. But because like I'm adding a berry and it's not super sweet, I'm gonna add some dates. So I'm just gonna add four dates actually. These are just, these aren't uh, the medjool dates, which are like the big dates. These are just, you know, your regular, <laughs> your regular dates. So I'm gonna add uh, probably just four because I don't like my smoothies being too sweet. The kefir is a bit like bitter. It's not like a sweet milk. So maybe I'll add like an extra one. I don't know. Hopefully it turns out. But usually my go-to is like four dates. It's like the perfect sweetness. It's not too sweet and it's not too bitter. So I add dates. And then after that, I will add my chia seeds or hemp seeds. So I like to add fiber rich seeds to up the fiber content in the smoothie and then these just have so many other benefits like minerals. I'm just gonna grab a spoon to put it in. So usually I do about one to two tablespoons of chia. I'm gonna do two tablespoons today because so we're gonna get that fiber. This is also really good for like healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy nails. These seeds are like amazing seeds. They just have so many vitamins and minerals and nutrients. And they're pretty affordable too. I actually just get this at Costco, so organic. And then after that, I'm gonna add, I usually add a superfood powder. And I'm actually working on something very exciting. So I can't wait to tell you guys more about that. But right now, I am adding the Baobab. Excuse me, I like keep burping. I don't know, it's like the lemon water <laughs> went down the wrong way or something. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna add the Baobab into the mix. So I usually just add a tablespoon of a superfood powder just to up the vitamin C content. Now, you know, we're getting into winter. This is like, you know, when people get sick, cold and flu season, and when the seasons change, you know, our body's adjusting. So I always up my vitamin C and then I'm gonna add actually some citrus. So I'm gonna add a half a lemon, just juiced in here. And I love adding like lemon, orange, grapefruit to my smoothies. 
depending if it like goes with the mix. I feel like lemon and raspberry goes really nicely together. So I'm just gonna add in, again, just like boost the vitamin C content and it adds to the flavor too. You always have to have like the flavor in mind because I used to make these like big green smoothies and like throw everything in them. And don't get me wrong, oops, I got like the lemon seeds in there. Don't get me wrong, like I have, most of my smoothies are green smoothies. Like today this isn't a green smoothie because um, I just didn't feel like one, but um, I just made like the grossest smoothies and like I never drank them and then I made myself like hate smoothies. I would like be gagging and I wouldn't drink it and just be like so grossed out. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna blend this puppy up in my favorite blender of all time, my Vitamix that my parents gave me as a present for my wedding. Best present ever. Okay, let's whip this up. I will see you guys in 30 seconds. smoothies really good because nothing's worse than getting like a chunk of a date or like you know if you put like spinach like a big hunk in your straw okay this actually smells like ice cream like frozen yogurt so excited to do this okay last but not least i add collagen in so i usually add collagen or protein powder um oh, i don't even need this but lately i've just been adding collagen because collagen actually has protein in it and um it is a great way to of course support your skin, your nails, your hair, but also your bones and just your like connective tissue. So I really love to have collagen and you don't taste it in a smoothie, which I love. So you can really hide it and you'd never know. And it just boosts. I like to boost everything I do. It's just like adding vitamins and nutrients is key. So I blend the collagen. The reason I added an after is because you could should blend it on low speed so you don't break down the protein in it or the nutrients. There goes my cup. And what I'm so obsessed with are these little smoothie cups that came with my Vitamix that my parents gave me. They are the best and they're big because I, I haven't been able to find. The only other big cup I found is from Starbucks. Um, I was looking for something that was like BPA free plastic because I do drop my cups and I've broken glass ones and it's just um, something that's easy to bring with you and it lasts forever and it's reusable. So the Starbucks are like the biggest ones I found up to date and then these Vitamix ones just like are incredible. So I've been using this. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour it in. It looks so good. It's like the perfect consistency. Yeah, try this smoothie out. Let me know what you guys think. I always like try and improvise and be creative and I think it's fun, you know, waking up in the morning and you know, sometimes <laughs> You don't want to get out of bed and you just want to sleep all day and you want to be lazy, but you know, if you motivate yourself by like making creative, delicious foods that don't have sugar so it doesn't burn your energy for the day, then you feel great. Okay, so after I make my smoothie, I'm gonna quickly show you guys before I leave because I'm just running out the door, literally real life right now, uh, what I bring with me. So I bring my smoothie, which I'm actually gonna taste because I'm really excited to see. This is so good. I would put a little bit less lemon next time, like maybe a quarter of a lemon. But like, this is really good. This is the bomb. This smoothie's amazing. You guys need to recreate this. Okay, so I'll bring my smoothie with me. I always bring a bunch of water with me. So I usually bring um, like, I don't even know, this is like a liter or 800 ml or whatever. Uh, it's probably a liter actually of water and I like to add I usually add lemon, but because I already have my lemon water, then I put lemon in my smoothie, which I don't usually do. I'm not gonna add lemon, I'm just gonna add some fresh mint leaves. So I love to pick up, I feel like I should call this video what I eat and drink in a day, because what, what I drink is actually like really important to me too, like for my health and my skin, because water, like you, we can't live without water. You know, like we would die faster without water than we would without food, I think. Pretty sure. So. Yeah, we need water. So yeah, I'm gonna add like a few mint leaves. I'm gonna wash them. So I don't have filtered water. This is just city water. So what I use is actually just my Centivia water pitcher, which is basically taking out the chlorine. It works like a Brita, 
but it takes out way more contaminants like chlorine, heavy metals, it takes out like any drug residues, and then it also adds the minerals back in the water, which the Brita doesn't do or like other filters. So it keeps your water alkaline, which I love to. I'm just gonna add the mint leaves into the water. And it just tastes so good. And honestly, these mint leaves, like I use them for a couple of days because they just stay, you know, well preserved in the water because it's colder out now. The water's cold and you know if it was summer I'd have to do it every day. But yeah, they stay pretty fresh. So I do that and then I also bring tea with me. So what I've been loving is, and I always switch up, I, I'm a tea lover, but lately I've been using this Rishi Liver Guard tea just to like add like extra liver support. I don't know if you guys can like kind of like across the table. I'm trying to show you guys. Um, yeah, so this one, I it has like Rishi mushroom, astragalus, schizandra, so it's really good for your adrenals and your liver. So, you know, I've kind of been going through like some stress here and there and you know with Christmas coming up and our move and everything so I'm like trying to support that and it's a delicious tea it tastes like jasmine it has jasmine in there as well so I'm actually just gonna add some boiled water of course and this mug is like life-changing uh, my husband actually got it as a gift it's a Yeti mug and I don't know like I'm from Canada so like I never even knew about Yeti I had like no apparently it's like a big thing here it's like really bougie, um, but he got this as a gift and I was like, oh, I don't have like my tumbler. Like I need something to put my tea in. So I just like took it and guys, this thing is crazy good. So like I forgot to drink my tea and then I'm like, oh, it's freezing. And then I like took a sip and it was still like warm, like almost hot. Like it was like perfect temperature. I was like, this cup is like friggin' amazing. So anyways, yeah, I, I mean not sponsored. I mean, Yeti, you can sponsor me, but this cup is amazing. So yeah, so I have my tea, have my water, have my breakfast smoothie, and then I take my supplements too. So I take my iodine. I'm actually gonna move the camera. Okay, so I moved the camera just a bit closer to me so you guys can like see what I'm doing. Uh, so I take my supplements and because I didn't drink my smoothie or have any food, I just had the lemon water, I will bring my supplements with me in my lunch bag. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what I'm having for lunch. And the fun part will be later when I make dinner with you guys. And I'll show you guys what I whip up when I get home. But yeah, so take my iodine. And yeah, iodine tastes like really gross. So right after I drink it, I like to have like a sip of my smoothie because it tastes like crap. It's not like that bad, but it's kind of like, ugh. Just do it, it's good for you. Okay, so I do my iodine. Now that it's getting into, you know, the cooler months, I'm seeing less sun, I do my vitamin D drops. So I've just been doing two drops a day, because I still will get some sun. I actually just, it's so silly, but like my, one of my, uh, like the doctor, I guess, that I go to, it's not a naturopath or anything, but like when I get physicals and stuff, she just like, puts the vitamin D on her hand and then licks it off because she is a bit natural too, so I just always have done that. Um, yeah, so call me mood, I don't know, it's just easy. And so when you try and put it in your mouth, sometimes like you can't really count it, you can't feel it. Okay, so after I do that, I'm gonna show you guys what I bring with me for lunch. So of course, like lunch always changes. So what I do for lunch every day, because I don't really have time to like make a salad and have salmon, and you know, some days I am home and I can like make something when I'm here, but a lot of the times, like lately, I've been just out, I've been working out, uh, out of here, like having meetings and stuff. So what I usually bring is, I bring some hummus. So of course I've like already been snacking on this, but I bring like a snack, so I bring hummus, I bring carrots, which I didn't even put in here yet. So I'm gonna go get the carrots. Okay, so I bring just like some organic baby carrots, I bring, these are the Crunch Master Crackers. I will put a picture on the screen so you guys know what I, I mean. They're like non-GMO, they're really good and crunchy. They're like rice crackers, brown rice crackers. So I have those with the hummus as like a snack. Um, I will have like an apple. I mean, today I didn't even pack an apple because I know it's gonna be a crazy date. I'm not even gonna really think about eating. Um, but for lunch, I usually like to pack um, leftover dinner. So whenever I make dinner, I make a, like a little bit extra. So my husband and I can have food for the next day. So it's like, honestly, like you wake up in the morning, you have your lemon water, you throw together your smoothie, grab your lunch in the fridge, sort of bag, and just leave. So it's super fast and it just keeps you from eating out really and just eating 
crap, eating crappy foods. So I'm gonna show you guys what I made. So last night I made this delicious like potato leek soup. And I'll actually put the recipe in the description for you guys to check out. So usually I like to make soups. I like to make um, dinners with you know chicken or meat. So it really depends. I usually make a big salad and some days we'll have like a big salad and the salmon for lunch. So it just depends on the day. So today we're just having soup. And um, yeah, so that's, that's my breakfast and lunch. And then I will come see you guys later when I make my dinner. So I'm gonna take you guys through what I make and this amazing, amazing, I don't know, I guess it's like a machine or it's like a kitchen product that I use that like changed my life, which was also a gift to me when I got married. But I have to tell you guys about it because it literally is amazing and it's like cooks so fast. So anyways, I will see you guys at dinner. Bye. I can't even reach the camera. So exciting news, I just finished all the dishes. I hate washing dishes and having no dishwasher has been a true struggle for me, but it's fine, it's all working out. So let's get started on making the dinner today. So today I'm making chicken adobo, which is like, uh, I think it's like a Korean style chicken. Anyways, it's like my favorite chicken ever. The Asians know how to cook. So I can't wait to dive into that. And I'm also gonna be making a huge salad because that's what I love to make. So before I dive into making the chicken, I'm gonna quickly put the rice on because rice, brown rice generally takes like 40 minutes. And I'm gonna throw that on the stove. So today I'm going to cook, I think I'm gonna do like a cup and a half of brown rice. So what I usually do is I'll brown the rice first with butter. Now I don't have any butter right now, so I'm just gonna use some olive oil. So probably just like a tablespoon of olive oil. And stick that in there. And then I'm going to add in probably like just a cup and a half of rice. I find like two cups is too much. But I also find like a cup and a half is just like not quite enough. So I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Since I'm making lunch for tomorrow for both Nate and I, my husband, maybe I'll do. I'll do two cups. Let's do two cups of rice. Okay, so I'm gonna throw two cups of rice. Now I'm gonna go over to the stove. And what I usually do is I put the stove on high heat and I just wait for it to really heat up and then I just start to brown the rice basically. So it kind of smells like popcorn, but the rice is just getting a little bit pre-cooked. It's a tip I learned from my mom. And then once that happens, you can just add the water. So if I'm doing two cups of rice, I'll need to add, so, <laughs> four cups of water, duh, it's double the rice. Yeah, so we're gonna add four cups of water into that and get that baby going. So right now we're just gonna get it browned up. Yeah, I just mix it in with the rice, kind of combine it a bit. Until the stove starts getting heated up, I will get going. Okay guys, let's start on the chicken. So first, what I wanna, my onion's like running away. First, what I wanna show you guys is this incredible gift that I got. I'm gonna come over and use the camera to quickly show you. This Instant Pot is insanely incredible. I love it so much. So what I do is, I, what I do is honestly I'm making everything in this thing. Like soups, I've been making chicken, meats, I've been making like vegetables, rice. I mean I'm making rice over there because I'm making the chicken in here, but this pot is amazing and it has just saved my life like it cooks things so fast like it'll cook this dinner in seven minutes and usually it takes like 35 minutes in the oven so it also saves energy as well but yeah this is not even sponsored i just love my instant pot so much and i'm so thankful for my friends who got it for me and nate for our wedding so that's what i will be using i'm just gonna like run around here so you guys can see me again so i'm gonna check on the rice going pretty good and once I get this baby browned I'm gonna add the water in and then I'm going to bring it to a boil reduce it to simmer until it's done so generally it takes like 35 40 minutes and this is just a long grain basmati rice that I've always used and yeah just get it going in here add the water now Four cups of water. Okay. okay, so now that I have the rice, 
rice coming to the boil, I'm gonna start by browning the chicken. So I just am using free range chicken thighs, so boneless chicken thighs. And I'm going to actually turn the Instant Pot. So if you guys don't have an Instant Pot and you wanna follow along and make this recipe, you can basically just brown the chicken in a pan over the stove. And I'm gonna brown it actually in olive oil. I like to keep it on a lower temperature and um, if you're doing it over the stove, I would recommend doing it with butter just because olive oil, um, it has, it, it affects the oil's composition when the oil gets heated like too high, like when it starts bubbling. So this, I'm not gonna put like too high, I'm gonna keep it on lower heat. But um, yeah, I'm gonna start by browning the chicken. Just cutting it open now. Okay, so I have the Instant Pot revving up. I've got the chicken ready. Now I'm gonna start cutting up the onion and the garlic, which I'm actually gonna mince, not cut up. And just letting you know, my rice is coming to a boil. So I'm gonna turn it to simmer. Just get that going here. There we go. Yeah, and sometimes I find I get stressed out. And the reason that I wasn't doing a what I can eat in a day video is because I was just always like stressed out about like not being able to have like someone else to help me like zoom into the, so you know when you watch like those cooking shows and they like, zoom into the food and they show you like what they're doing and it's kind of like hard being like a one woman show. I mean, it's still possible, but I'm like trying to eat tonight. So <laughs> this is how real it's gonna get, but I'll show you guys like what the food looks like once it's cooking and stuff, like some close ups because I know like for me myself, I love watching, you know, those details when I'm watching people, you know, cook or show what they eat. So right now I'm just cutting up the onion. It's honestly like the light is kind of weird in the kitchen. So I'm sorry if it's like super bright. That's what it looks like to me right now on the camera. But yeah, so I'm just cutting up one onion. Uh, this is, I'm using a white onion just because you can use white or red. And I'm going to just slice it into slices. So I just cut the onion in half. And then I'm just thinly slicing it down. And um, it doesn't have to be like super thin slices. We just want like some slices of onion really. And I'm gonna get that ready once this heats up. Actually, it looks like it's heating up now. So that's good. So once it heats up, I'm just gonna brown the chicken, put it on a plate and then finish off with the sauce and the onion. And that's basically it. And uh, Wow, here comes like the river of tears. Oh, that's the worst about cutting up onions is it like kills you. Oh, so I'm gonna throw the chicken in and get that going. <laughs> Whoa, it's a little too hot actually. I should really turn it down. Oh snap. I'm actually gonna do it in a couple batches because it all can't fit in. So yeah, so always like wash your hands, obviously, when you're dealing with meat. I'm like such a clean freak and germaphobe, like I just don't want anything to be spread. I don't want any problems, so I just always make sure I wash my hands. Okay, so the rice is on, we got this. I'm gonna start doing the garlic. So we're gonna do about four to five garlic cloves. So I'm gonna prep this while the chicken is cooking. So I'm just gonna peel this here. I love garlic. I can tell you guys right now, like Nate and I eat so much garlic. Garlic is so good for you, it's so good for your liver. And I really should have like de-skinned this before the video, but I'm doing it now. But yeah, we have garlic. I make my own homemade salad dressing, which I'm gonna show you guys and give you guys my like secret recipe. Uh, it's like the most amazing recipe. It's actually from my mom. So thanks mom for teaching me a delicious sal salad. Can't even talk, salad dressing. Yeah, so usually to get the skin off the garlic, I've been told many hacks. Honestly, what I do is I kind of like bend the garlic and it all just pops off. So it's kind of like, you know, squish it and the skin just comes right off pretty easily. 
So we have the chicken cooking in here. So it's just getting ready. So I just brown both sides of that guy. Oh, you know what? The camera is like getting steamy. Oops. Okay, so the chicken is still browning. It's still going strong. I'm gonna start on the salad. So what you guys need is a salad bowl. I am going to start off by cutting up one head of lettuce. Maybe I should put the camera up more. Like, hello! <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with one head of lettuce. I love green leaf lettuce, but I use a mixture of like green leaf, red leaf, romaine. Uh, I just like to switch it up. And then I'm going to also incorporate some parsley into this mix. So usually I do like a little bit, I just like break some off and wash it. Parsley is so good for you. It's actually like a natural heavy metal detoxifier. So it is the bomb. So I'm gonna do some of that. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is cut those boys up. And I'm going to stick the salad in my little salad colander thing. Okay, actually, I think this chicken is browned. Okay, so. Okay guys, back to the chicken. So once your chicken is browned, you're just gonna put it onto a plate, like so, and set it off to the side while we cook up the onions and make the sauce. And all the, like, the, the oil and like, whatever's left from the chicken cooking, just leave that in the pot and we're gonna cook the onions in it. So, and for those who are using, this chicken's like not coming out. For those of you using the Instapot, Instant Pot, sorry, I keep calling it Instapot. Um, Instapot. For those of you using the Instant Pot, oh, that's hot. Sorry, I'm like extremely focused on getting this chicken out. So for those of you using the Instant Pot, I would just recommend leaving it, well, I would just leave it on saute mode while we do the onions. So I'm just gonna throw the onions into the pot, literally, and get those guys browning. While the onions are browning, I'm going to add in the garlic cloves. This garlic clove is like gigantic, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Once you guys add the garlic in, you just want to stir it and brown the onions and just combine everything. I'm filming! Why don't you come say hi to everybody? So these onions are pretty much brown, so I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. So what you guys need is half a cup of apple cider vinegar. So I use the Briggs with the mother in it, the raw apple cider vinegar. So you need half a cup. So I'm gonna add that in. Then after you add that, you're gonna add in some soy sauce. This is just, again, like Briggs liquid aminos. I don't know if you guys can see that. I will put everything in the description so you guys know what to do. And I'll put the recipe there too. Oh uh, yeah, so a quarter cup of that. This one, oh, it's like brand new, so it still has the seal on it. Uh, this one is pretty strong. Like, so I would probably, I'm gonna do a little bit less than a quarter cup because I find like the liquid aminos is a lot more concentrated than the Bragg soy sauce. Um, I wasn't able to find that here. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit less than a quarter cup. So, so I'm gonna add that in. And then I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of water. And then I'm gonna add in four teaspoons of honey. This is just like a local Ontario honey that I get. So, 
Four teaspoons equals like a tablespoon and a teaspoon, so. I'm just gonna kind of like guesstimate. Okay, so I'm also gonna add in a couple bay leaves as well. So you can add like as many as you want. I'm probably just gonna add three. I'm gonna put the chicken back in. So it's pretty easy. It's about to be the best chicken you guys ever had. Actually, no, it's not gonna be the best chicken you guys ever had because I never made it for you. Bam! <laughs> He's still in the video. Why don't you just say hi? Okay, so yeah, once you guys add the chicken, you're just gonna add a bit of pepper. I don't like to add any salt, uh, just because the soy sauce is enough. So I'm just gonna probably add a quarter teaspoon of pepper, some fresh ground black pepper, and then I'm going to put the instant pot on. So what you do, so if, sorry. So if you're not using the instant pot, you want to bake this for 35 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes at 350. But since I'm using the Instant Pot, I am going to put it on manual for seven minutes. So for those of you who are using this, and then I'm just going to put it on manual for seven minutes. So it looks like it's actually already on there. Yep, so that's it, it's all ready to go. The chicken's cooking and the rice is still cooking. I'm gonna start on the salad, just while that's going on. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just wash it, of course. I always wash my raw produce because you never know who's been touching it and you know, parasites and bacteria, right? So I wanna clean that. So that's the parsley. And then usually what I do is I chop up the lettuce first and then I wash it in my little salad spinner here, which I actually picked up at Ikea. of different you know vegetables and I love adding olives and different things to my salad just to dress it up. I love adding feta cheese to it but I actually ran out of feta cheese sadly but usually I'll add like goat or feta cheese. I'm just gonna quickly cut up this parsley meal so I usually just use a half a cucumber and a half a green pepper. dressing for a couple salads so I made it yesterday uh, so basically what is in here is olive oil and this like cute little mixer cup is olive oil there's like a I would say uh, how much olive oil do I have like eight so like almost you know almost close to like three quarter cups of olive oil like a tablespoon of mayo um, a large clove of garlic like salt and pepper oregano there is half a lemon and that's it. You shake it up and you want to add it to the whole salad. So I'm not going to add it yet. I'll add it just before we eat. But yeah, that's it. actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to add some radish to the salad too. How does it feel being cooked for every day? Pretty good. <laughs> and we're ready to eat guys thank you so much for watching this video please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye